lovelies welcome back to the channel it has been raining all day mm, which is terrible but Chris Miller has just come into town he's on his way here to see the shop space for the first time because as of tomorrow the build is back on so today we're just going to quickly tell you what our plan is for the week so you guys know what is coming up and I'm going to tell you who the co-driver is so Chris Miller is in town. I am. He is very excited because that means that we're going to start work on this again. Yes, we are. We have a little bit of work to get done. A lot of work. We have, it's about 40% done-ish. We'll go with that. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we know it starts and runs. We know that with drive shafts, it theoretically would drive. There's a bit of cage work to do. There is actually an entire fuel system that'll be here in a couple days to do. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's a new manual brake setup. There is a new manual the brake setup. Parts. Okay, so we have, uh, we have a good starting position right now. What are we gonna be getting up to this week? Yes, we will. We'll finish designing the upper shock mounts. Um, to make sure that the shocks are offset the correct amount because they're offset by, I believe, two inches at the bottom, eye to eye. So the top needs to be offset as well so that when the shocks stretch out and compress, Doing that, that they're in the same position and one is not becoming a limit strap. Yeah. Uh, there's a fair amount of tube work to do, that mostly is. gusseting. The structure is here, but we need gusseting, you know, here, here, here. We need a spare tire hoop here. We need a top of the spare tire thing here. Everything is, is we've kind of planned this out. Chris has been here for like an hour, a little over an hour, and we've kind of walked around and talked about what we're going to do. But we thought we'd share it with you guys before we start the work. Front and lower shock mounts need to be worked on. Yep. We realized that the position that they were in when I was here last time, we did not take into consideration one minor thing, that we could not remove the lower control arm oh. um, yeah. because the bolt would not come out. So that's gonna change a little bit. Luckily, nothing's burned in, it was just hacked. Wheel openings at some point, um, but we'll have to put it at full bump for that. Exactly. That's what correct. I said before. And if you didn't watch that video, go check it out. The link is going to be in the description below. So definitely check it out along with the rest of the build series so far. Catch up before we start this section. I feel like I'm a teacher at school. Yeah. Um, Read that chapter before before you go into the next one. Uh, we have an entire chassis electrical system. Uh, once again, we know that the engine runs exactly the way it sits with the factory harness and we are not going to mess with that mm -hmm. um, outside of the ecu master pmu 16 is going to control our fuel pumps yeah. so we'll use the fuel pump output from the factory setup just as a oh, trigger we have some steering we have a lot of steering things to do i haven't even considered that um <laughs> but i mean it's 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 steering it's there's nothing too crazy about it no um, we're literally just going to take this one day at a time. We still have stuff arriving this week, which is a bit of a bummer, but it's on its way. So we'll get it done. Yes, we will get it done. We'll get it done. Push up the door structure and we know what it's going to be from a safety standpoint. We know that it needs to be triangulated correctly, but because we do have a door and JK doors have, you know, that like ledge and then they the kind of come down and then the, like the armrest ledge. Uh, we want to maintain that look, I know. So once we put a door on here, we'll have a better idea of what's going to happen here with the, the door bars. We need to move this, this guy backwards back. yep. um, to mount a tin roof on it. A couple of days ago, we told you guys that we were trying to figure out the front here, but it's going to be pretty simple because we're going to do a lot of straight tubes as many straight tubes as we can not only to keep it simple but it's also stronger that way 
Yes, and easier to replace parts if they happen to get bent. It is very hard to bend a tube in the field. This cross member is still in place because it is keeping the frame from twisting apart. Exactly. And we learned that there's a little bit of a, a cut little here. Cut there. And the saw blade actually got stuck in there as the chassis Which twisted into it. Into we'll right. lop the front off here once we know exactly where the winch cradle is going to go, which is here. TMR winch cradle will sit in here somewhere in this range. We know that we have to move this cross member forward anyways. Mm -hmm. So I do think that this right in here might end up being the front. So that's kind of the grand plan for this week. Now, just one other thing. I know everyone has been wondering who the co-driver is. Is it Lizzie? Is it Rudy? Is it, who else have we had? I don't know. Well, here, what? let me ask you. Holly. Yeah. yeah. Who's gonna co-drive this thing with you? I believe that's you, Chris Miller. Really? Yeah. That's incredible. I'm gonna have to give you this back. <laughs> wow. Yep, it is Chris Miller right here. Many reasons why, mostly because he knows what he's talking about when it comes to racing. He has been in the racing field for a pretty long time and um, he can get out and hop on a winch real quick. You're quite dainty on your feet. I've been, I've been known to be light on my feet. That's why my friends call me whiskers. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, a big factor is he's been working on the vehicle and I need someone who knows the vehicle. So. Yeah, from a, from a field repair thing, I mean, we're, we're hoping to build it to not need field repairs. Theoretically, if we did have something minor go wrong, we'd be able to drive it to a remote pit, pit and, yeah. you know, let the great guys, is BFG going to be the pit? Think, yeah. Let those guys, um, they always bring a good team to races. Um, always been pretty impressed with that but if we did need to repair something in the field um, yeah it helps to have a an intimate knowledge of how the car was built exactly so. and the the most important thing is he's risk happy i really i really feel very confident and very happy that's the main thing of walter are you happy Yep, Walter's, Walter's happy, happy too. Okay, so Chris actually has to go to the airport and pick a friend up. I'm gonna let you do that before you're late, but don't go anywhere because we have to talk about the people who are not gonna be co-driving. Holly. Yeah? As the person who's gonna hold my life in your hands as yeah. a co-driver, yeah. I have one tip for you. What? <laughs> go fast, don't die. I bought this on Instagram and I feel really good about it. All right, just before I get into telling you why some people were not chosen for the co-driver position, I wanna remind you to head on over to the playlist for the race Jeep build. Some fantastic things there that you need to catch up on before we head on over and start on the build again. All right, uh, I've just come through to the office and I wanted to talk to you guys quickly about why the co-driver is not Rudy and it's not gonna be Lizzie. I know so many of you, including myself, wanted Lizzie to be the co-driver. I actually brought it up to her before we left for the summer, but after thinking about it, um, they have a lot of work going on at Matt and Matt's off-road, not only with recoveries, but with the biggest off-road wrecker. Um, they have a lot of work to get done over there. And I just didn't think it was fair to ask Lizzie for her time because that's the thing I'm gonna need most. Testing, going out in the vehicle, um, pre-running, a lot of that stuff. And it takes up a lot of time and it just wouldn't be fair for me to ask Lizzie to give up her time or ask Matt to give up Lizzie for all of that time when they have so much going on. And you guys as fans, I just, it just wouldn't be right. So that is the reason why. And also Rudy, I know a lot of people were like, oh, Rudy, Rudy will be your co-driver. 
again, it's a time thing, right? He just got his new shop. He has to get a lot sorted out in there and he's got a lot going on. So I hope that you are as excited as I am about this. We're gonna get started again as of tomorrow. Get on it. So get ready for a week full of build stuff. Thank you so much as always for watching and I'll see you in the morning.